Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ira, if you're new. First of all, happy new year, happy 2022. So today's video is just going to be like a very quick one. If you're looking to like get into skincare this year, this video is going to be for you. So I'm just going to like um, put together a basic routine that you can um, get started on. And then as time goes by, you can inc incorporate more products into your routine. But like this is the basic routine that, can, that you can use to at least get started with your skincare journey. So yeah, um, for this video, I'm not going to talk about specific products or i'm not going to like i like products that you should get but i'm going to leave um a couple of recommendations in the description box for every um for every step of the routine so make sure to check that out i'll also probably pop them somewhere around here so you can like see some suggestions and then you can use the links and then the discount that i'll leave in the description box to like get money off as well i need to also add a disclaimer that this um, products that I'll be recommending are just based on like general reviews and also from my own personal experience as I've always said skincare is quite personal so these are just recommendations and you still need to have to like take the extra step to check them out and see if you are not maybe sensitive or allergic to any of the ingredients and if you think it might be a good fit for you without further ado let's just get right into it as you all know or as you've probably heard before there's um there's like the 10 step korean routine um but for this video it's just going to be like a basic maybe four or five step that way it is easier for you to um get used to a routine and then you're able to like follow through with it so the very first step is the cleanser step you need a cleanser in your routine because you need to cleanse your skin get rid of uh, maybe built up dirt um um oil or just production from your face in general you need to also get rid of like maybe dirt from the environment or like sweat and like just things from um your daily lives that might have accumulated on your face so depending on um your skin condition maybe if you don't exactly have acne or you have like um moderate acne or you have severe acne then that will also influence the type of cleanser that you get but for like kickstarting a basic routine you just need maybe probably like a gel cleanser um or like a basic um non-active cleanser something that just helps to cleanse your skin so you're not looking for like a cleanser that has maybe salicylic acid for those that deal with acne or you're not looking for a cleanser that just has like an active in it you're just looking for a very basic um, first step cleanser that can help you cleanse your face without stripping it um, of your essential oils or without making your skin feel dry so that's um, your, the very first step in like any routine you need a cleanser and as I said I'm going to leave like um, I'm going to leave like recommendations in the description box these cleansers are not going to exactly target any skin concerns they are just to cleanse your skin also I'm not going to talk about like double cleansing or anything like that because um, as beginners you don't exactly need to jump straight into double cleansing it's fine if you want to also try it out but essentially if you are just starting out you don't exactly need to um, go straight to double cleansing if you feel like you need a second cleanser in your routine then you can also incorporate a second cleanser in your routine also if you're like a makeup person then it's probably like a good idea for you to get started with double cleansing or at least um incorporate like an oil cleanser into your routine as well that way you are able to like get rid of um your makeup it's able to help you get rid of your makeup and then you also use like a normal um water cleanser or a gel cleanser to um essentially also get rid of like any um excess dirt that might still be on your face and the next step is like the toner or the essence step um this step is not exactly compulsory but i feel like it is very um useful in like a normal basic routine you need um to have like a product that helps to hydrate your skin that has hydrating ingredients that can help to like give it that plumpness also helps to like keep your skin looking radiant and all of that so um for me i think a toner is essential in a basic routine or at least you can also find those products that um double as a toner and also as an essence so um like i said the recommendations that i would have in the description box will most likely feature toners and essence so for these toners they are basically just going to be hydrating toner you don't have to get an exfoliating toner i'll be discussing that in the next step but i would not recommend you get started with like an exfoliating toner i think it's um a better idea to um add like an hydrating toner to your routine maybe like a rotor toner again i'll leave all of the recommendations um description box and the third step is basically like the exfoliant step this is just adding like an exfoliant to your routine whether it's physical exfoliation or chemical exfoliation you should have 
um, the exfoliant step in your routine as well. So this is not exactly basic. You might skip it initially, especially when you are still getting into like the old skincare thing. But eventually, you need to add exfoliant into your routine because it helps to get rid of dead skin cells, review new skin, and then it also helps to like just um, improve your skin texture. Regardless of whether you are going for physical exfoliant or chemical exfoliant, you should also still have that um, exfoliant step in your routine now in my opinion i think um, chemical exfoliant is the way to go because with physical ex exfoliant you have like um, that risk of um, causing micro tears to your skin so like you have those tiny invisible tears that you might not exactly notice but it's still there and that's as a result of using scrubs that is called physical exfoliation so i would be honest at first i was um like an advocate of physical exfoliation because i felt like using chemical exfoliants um, sounded like a huge deal and all of that so I was more loyal to physical um, exfoliants aka scrubs but eventually when I got to realize the fact that like physical um, exfoliants that scrubs can cause those micro tears to your skin uh, that could do like a lot of damage to your skin texture um, I slowly eased myself into um, using chemical exfoliants and now there's no way I'm going back to scrubs ever again so it's fine to um, start out with physical exfoliants if you feel more comfortable with that but if you are willing to like um, avoid that possibility of um, having micro tears in your skin um, you might um, you might want to go the um, chemical exfoliant route so like I said this is um, kind of optional in a basic routine but if I were to go for like if I were to recommend a basic routine for anyone right now I would say it is a good idea for you to um, include an exfoliant in your routine immediately or chemical exfoliant one advice that I would give is you slowly ease your skin into um, whatever product that you're using so even if the um, the instruction is to like using maybe like twice to thrice a week I would say maybe start out with um, a patch test like most products you start out with a patch test so start out with using it once a week if you feel like you are not having any reactions or like it's not affecting your skin in any way you're not experiencing that skin purge then you can slowly increase it to twice a week um, watch your skin for like any reactions and then eventually you can build up your routine to like three times a week again i will list out all of the recommendations in the description box the fourth step is um a moisturizer um like i said this is a basic routine so i'm going to skip all of the like the old serums and all of that if you are willing to um if you want to go that extra step there is also the serum step but since this video is all about like the very basic routine that you can start with i'm going to just jump straight to the moisturizer step the moisturizer step is basically to like moisturize your skin i've already mentioned something like hydrating so hydrating and moisturizing are like two terms that people still confuse together but essentially moisturizing helps to lock in all of those hydration that you've already provided to your skin so it is definitely a great idea to include um, a moisturizer in your basic routine there are several types of moisturizer that you can use you can go for the gel types you can go for the cream types different ones depending on like um how lightweight they feel how heavy they feel you can also choose based on weather things like that but definitely also include a moisturizer in your um routine and the final step is um sunscreen like this cannot be overemphasized if you are starting a skincare routine if you are um, introducing your skin to new products you should always 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 give priority to like a sunscreen because as most people have said incorporating a routine without also adding a sunscreen is like a very futile effort you're not going to see any changes you're not going to i guess you're just going to make your skin even more sensitive to all of the things that are already affecting it so you should always 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 end your routine with the sunscreen there are several types of sunscreen that you can try out there's physical sunscreens which are also called mineral sunscreens there's also the chemical sunscreens essentially they vary based on like how they work it's not like one is chemical one is physical or one is organic one is natural or things like that but it differs based on how they protect your skin or like the technique they use in which to protect your skin so for now um, physical sunscreens mostly tend to give that white scars so most people tend to um, most black people at least tend to go for um, chemical sunscreens or if they find physical sunscreens that do not give them that white cast then they also go for that so like there are lots of recommendations for sunscreens again I'll leave some of my best um, options in the description box so make sure to check out the description box like everything will be there everything that you need to be there then I'll, again I'll also pop up like different ones around here so sunscreens are like the 
most essential even i would say even more than cleansers but like everything is essential but like sunscreen is like you cannot end a routine without using a sunscreen so sunscreen and essential they help to um protect your skin from like the harmful sun rays the harmful uv rays and it also helps to protect the products that you've used from your on your skin from getting affected by the sun so to recap you need a cleanser you need a toner or essence you need an exfoliant if you want you need a moisturizer and you need a sunscreen so like that's like the four or five steps that you need to get started with um, building like building a skincare routine or incorporating a skincare routine into your lifestyle as you get used to that you can also incorporate more steps like there are the serums there are ampoules um there are face masks things like that so eventually you get used to like the old skincare world but at the very least you have a basic um routine that you can stick to and that can help your skin if you now have like skin concerns that you want to address whether it's hyperpigmentation or you have several other or you have other concerns that you need to address specifically then you can also now um, um, incorporate more products that target those concerns in your routine yeah that's basically it i hope this video is helpful to anyone looking to start like a skincare journey in 2022 i hope you are able to start and then you stick to a basic routine at the very least um, if you have any questions you can always always ask me in the comment sections i will be sure to um, give my response and like help you in the best way i can if you need more recommendations apart from the ones that I, I will include in the description box do not hesitate to um let me know in the comments i will be sure to reply to that um thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to um hit the like button if this video um proved to be useful to you somehow let me know what other forms of skincare content you might want to see on this channel stay safe have a great year and i'll see you in my next video